You've haunted me all my life Through endless days and countless nights It was a storm when I was just a kid Strip the last cold of innocence. Chase Locke here, out of Los Angeles, California. Um, been writing graffiti since I was 16, 26 now. You're always out of reach when I'm in pursuit. Long-winded. My cousin got me into painting when I was about 16. Um, he's been painting for a long time. And, and uh, I'm originally from North Dakota, so we don't really have much out there to paint besides trains. So I grew up painting trains. And uh, that's where my, my passion really is, is trains. But um, yeah, so my cousin got me into, into writing graffiti and then my older cousin as well got him into it, so kind of runs in the family a tad. How I originally found out what even graffiti was, I mean, you saw it, you see it in the street, you see it everywhere, and, but you don't necessarily know what it is. You think it's gangs or whatever it may be. Um, can't read it unless you're really in the scene or they have, you know, a good style, but um, basically I went into my cousin's garage. I went over to his house to actually ride. I think we were riding actually pit bikes or something. And uh, when his garage, he was practicing like his fades and stuff like that. And I was like, what are you doing? And I mean, I obviously know what graffiti is, but it's like, I didn't even know you painted. And he was like, he didn't really, you know, he's just kind of practicing. So he's like, try it. And I tried it, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Once you get better, you see, just like anything else, the more you progress, the, the more interested you get and the more involved you get in it. And then, then when you see your name on the street or something like that, and you hear people talking about it without, without them knowing that it's you because you're completely anonymous. It's, uh, it's a cool feeling. I can't make a wife and you've haunted me all my life. With this size of this wall, this is probably one of the bigger ones that I've ever done. So I'd expect three days on this, but I mean, I mean, if you came with it and had an exact outline that you really wanted to do, you could, you know, you could do it sooner, but like I said before, it never works with me, so I um, just like to keep it sporadic, just in the moment type thing. I feel like that's kind of cool. But painting is, is pretty close to riding in a sense of having throttle control on a dirt bike and having can control on a, with a can because, you know, obviously the more you twist the throttle, the more gas, the faster you're going to go. Um, same with a can, you know, the more you press down, the more paint's going to come out. and. You know, then you have to move your hand quicker because you're going to get drips then and, and things like that and the, you know, flicks of the wrist, things like that, just motions and I guess you could say almost tricks of the trade in a way, you know, or just learning, just learning, you know. you haunted me all my life. you haunted me all my life. You are the mistress I Drift.